O God, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Bless our diocese of Savannah with many vocations, priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Give the men and women you call the light to understand your gift, and the love to follow always in the footsteps of your priestly son. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. We come together this morning to begin our day by worshiping God. We know God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who sent His Son Jesus to us. So we worship the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. We begin our day in the best way possible with the Holy Mass. We bow our heads now and we ask God to forgive any sins we have committed, sins of thought, word, or deed, sins of omission or commission. Lord Jesus, you have come to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father in heaven, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, the flute, the lyre, harp, the psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnaces. And who is the God who can deliver you from my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, our king that will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. 
Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Nebuchadnezzar, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all others forever. Glory, Glory and, praise and praise forever. forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne above the cherub, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory, Glory and, praise and praise forever. forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. May the words of Jesus Christ be in our minds and on our lips and in our hearts. Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. If the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham. But you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me. A man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God, and I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So we read today a very famous story from the Old Testament, the book of Daniel, about three Israelites, meaning they were Jewish people. They believed in the one true God, right? Because um, God had revealed himself that 
He was the one God, the only God, right? The most powerful God. But when you're the only God, of course you're the most powerful God because there are no other gods, right? And we still know that's true. Jesus taught us that. But these three Jewish men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were, those are hard names to say because they're from another country and culture. They, uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar had decided he was going to make his own God. So he got all of his artists, you know, his, his artist and his craftsmen, and they made a little, like, statue and put gold all over it in jewels. And then the king said, whenever we blow the horn, every person in this kingdom must fall down on your knees, put your nose to the ground, and worship this god. Well, it's a false god. It's made of wood or, or metal. It can't save you. But he said, anybody who does it, will be killed. We'll throw them into this fiery furnace and they'll be burned to death. And so, these three Jewish men knew the first commandment of God. What is it? I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. You shall worship God alone. And so, they're not about to break the very first commandment of God. So they said to the king, no, we're not going to worship this, this piece of, uh, of wood or metal that you made. And so they then took Shadrach. This was very courageous of them because they were going to die. And the strong soldiers took him and they threw him into the fiery furnace. It must have been a big furnace and must have had vents because they could see through it. And the king Nebuchadnezzar got up and he's looking into the furnace. And he said, we threw them into the furnace, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, didn't we? And they said, assuredly, O king. And he said... Well, I don't see three men, I see four. And they're walking around in the flames and they're not even burned. And immediately the king knew, realized that the, the God they worshipped was the one with power. And he opened up the furnace and they came walking out. And he did not allow them to be killed because of their great faith. I always say, this is, a, I think, very wise advice for us always. It's always better to worship not the God you made, but the God who made you. Did you get it? I'll say it again. It's always better to worship not the God you made, but the God who made you. There's only one God. He made you from nothing, out of, out of dust, and He alone we worship and adore. It's the very first commandment of God. Now, I'm not suggesting that we all go home and take our Play-Doh and, and make a little God and put it on a shelf and bow down and worship. I know that we don't do that. But we do make gods out of things. We make sports our God. That's the thing we think about all the time, even to the exclusion of saying our prayers or going to Mass. Or we make ourselves our God. We're always looking in the mirror, always fixing ourselves perfectly because we want other people to like us. We make that our God with a million things that we can make our God. Do not worship the God you make. Worship the God who made you. He is the one who has the power to save you. So in our Matthew Kelly and our, our Dynamic Catholic program, we always talk about just do the next right thing. Say that with me. Just do the next right thing. That's how we become the best version of ourselves. That's how we grow in holiness. And don't just do the next right thing when you feel like doing the next right thing, but do the next right thing no matter how you feel. That's virtue. Virtue means man. It means, it means strong. So to become a Christian means you do the next right thing no matter how you feel because it's the right thing, because our God is the one who taught us that. So as we're locked in at home, right, we have to do our schoolwork, and uh, we have to uh, help our moms and dads take care of our brothers and sisters, and we're getting a lot, of, a lot of opportunity to do the next right thing, aren't we? And sometimes the next right thing is good. It's to eat your delicious breakfast, and sometimes the next right thing is fun. It's to go out and play ball and take a break from your studies and get your heart beating and exercise. Good. Do that if it's the next right thing. But sometimes the next right thing is to study math. And maybe that's not quite 
as much fun. Is it easy to be a Christian? No way. Thank God it's not easy. My mother used to always say, if you can live your life as a Catholic Christian and you can die as a Catholic Christian, you've done something extraordinary because it is not easy to follow Jesus Christ. So, He's the one who made us. We worship Him. We don't worship things we make. We worship the God who made us. It's the first commandment. Worship the Lord thy God. He alone shall be adored. I invite you to stand now, whether you're uh, wherever you are at home, as we lift up our prayers. We have much to ask our Heavenly Father for right now, for His protection and healing. So we lift up our prayers to God in the name of Jesus Christ. For all members of the church, may the Lord make us worthy of His call in our lives to serve Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all public officials, may God increase their conviction for upholding the dignity of every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are in prison, may the Lord lead them to a freedom found in faithfulness and discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this faith community, may the grace of God free us in pursuing his work and his will above all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died this day, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all of those with the coronavirus and for their families. We pray for their healing. We pray for the, the elimination of this virus from our country, our communities. We ask the strength of strengthening of all of our health care workers, all of our doctors and nurses who are caring for the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for the grace to make it through this time together in our families, trying to work and study and care for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. God, our Father, we love you and trust in you. We lift up these and all our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your day this be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name. Grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many or the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We stand together at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, mercy on us. Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who sin. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I invite you to bow your heads now and close your eyes as we make a spiritual communion. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, we invite you, we beg you to come into us right now, mind and heart and soul and body. Jesus, fill us with yourself, with your divinity and your humanity. Let your body and your blood be in our body and blood. Let your human soul 
be right next to our human soul. Jesus, make us one with you. Keep us one with you throughout this life so that we can be one with you forever in heaven. Jesus, we love you. Let us pray. Please stand. May these mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pray together. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.